Have you just gone through a rebrand or a merger on LinkedIn and want to know how to change the name on your LinkedIn company page, aka your LinkedIn business page? Then you have come to the right place. I'm Michelle J. Raymond, and I'm here to quickly step you through things so that you can see just how easy it is to change your business name on LinkedIn. You can do everything yourself really quickly and easily. You don't need to fill out any forms. You don't need to go to LinkedIn help. So the good thing is you should have this whole job done in about two minutes flat, which is amazing amazing. So as always, I'm going to take us over into the LinkedIn page admin view. So we're going to go behind the scenes. You won't be able to do this unless you're a super page admin. So check the level of your access. And if you've got that level, then you'll be able to make these changes. If you don't have that level, you're going to need to ask somebody else or get somebody else in the business to do it for you. So let's go across to LinkedIn. What I really love about the latest updates to LinkedIn's company page admin layout is everything you need to do is over on the left-hand side in this menu over here. So we are going to go down to edit page up here, start at page info. We can change your business name really easily. So it's just a type over the top and then your company page URL, you can change as well. Really that simple. Take a moment, check your tagline. Is that up to date or not? If your tagline hasn't had an update for a little while, take a moment to go back and update that. Make the most of those 120 characters. The other thing that I want people to check if you are changing your company page name, chances are you've probably changed your website, you've changed email addresses, domain names, all these kinds of things have an impact on behind the scenes on your company page. So when we go to buttons, when you have a look down here, your custom button normally drives traffic to a landing page or an external website. So make sure that your URL reflects that. And I'm actually going through this process as we speak. My previous business name is Good Trading Co. I'm getting a new website to reflect my new one called B2B Growth Co. When we click on about just underneath here is overview. This is another section that I want people people who are changing names of the business to go in and make sure in this description, do you use the old business name? Now, one of the things I forgot is to scroll all the way down to the bottom and make sure email addresses and any other links that are included in this description also have the right details. Again, your website URL, make sure that you update that. Scrolling further down, when we come into this overview section, you've also got phone numbers. Quite often when I come to these kind of things, when I'm working with clients and doing page audits, they always miss information along these lines. There are some other settings that are worth checking out while you're here, just to make sure that you don't have any broken links. So once you've made sure that all of that information is okay, just click the cross to exit. It'll bring you back to the page admin view. If you want to just make sure that it's okay, click on view as a member and then come across and just make sure everything's as you expected. This is always a great place for me to come back and just sense check that everything I thought that was going in there has turned out to be in there as I expected. So take a moment, scroll back down, click on show all details so you get the expanded view. One of the problems is in the settings view, this is much smaller. So I often find I get some of the spacings wrong. So from that perspective, I've done this. I'm happy with everything that's changed. I can see the new website. All this kind of stuff has been fixed. If you want to change your name or even if like me, you want to add something to the end of your business name to make it clear what you do and who you do it for, the good news is it's all done quickly, easily, and in the settings. If you have enjoyed this video, I've got so many more tips coming your way for how to use LinkedIn to grow your business. So don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, and most importantly, please come and reach out to me on LinkedIn. Look for Michelle J. Raymond. I would love to connect with you. Let me know that you've watched this video because we can continue the conversation over there and I can get to know you more. Cheers.